Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Ferrier with Moms Matter, and today we are in Reading. It's a city of about 88,000 people in southeastern Pennsylvania, and according to the U.S. Census, it's actually the poorest city in America. Today we're going to be talking to people about what it's like to live here and how it could affect their vote in November. In a city where 49% of all residents are living in poverty, the landscape is somber, the buildings are boarded up, the mood is grim. Economy is worse, jobs are down, people are trying to survive and the honest people are turning into crime. Maria Lucas says crime has gotten so bad in Reading she no longer feels safe. Recently, Reading was officially named one of the most dangerous cities in the country. That's why I have a pit bull. <laughs> And Reading moms like Amy Garris worry about the impact that crime could have on their children's futures. I don't want this to be my kids normal. Like, not by a long shot, I even said to my husband, like, this can get better. I'm like, I think once I finish school and get my nursing, I want out. Everyone we talked to here in Reading had the same message. Times are hard. Making ends meet is almost impossible. And politicians just don't seem to care. Here in Reading, so many people are homeless or they're just trying to get by. You know, it, it's, we need somebody who's going to voice for us, not for the higher people, you know, with the ta higher tax bracket and all that. They need to worry about us. What would you like the candidates to know about people living in real life places like Reading? Come down and really talk to the people, see the people, see what's going on, see how hard it is for us, us to make a living to feed our families and just clothe us and, and have utilities every time you turn around something else is happening and, and it's making it harder and harder to be a, a, a family. Family life has just gone down the tubes and it's a shame. And when it comes to choosing a president, some have lost faith in the process. In 2004, Berks County, where Redding is located, went to Bush. In 2008, they voted for Obama. Now, some are questioning that vote. What do you think about this upcoming election, Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama? Well, I definitely won't vote for Obama. Why not? Someone else. I don't think he's doing the job. And do you like Mitt Romney or do you just think he's the lesser of two evils? <laughs> the lesser of two evils. <laughs> yeah. Four years ago I would have said Obama, like straight up, like I campaigned for that man. I contributed, I got goosebumps every time he spoke. Were you disappointed in how the last four years went? I am, and I don't know if it's so much really him as just the whole politics. Like the president can pass as many policies as he wants, but as long as the house doesn't go with it, it doesn't really go anywhere. While others are still holding out hope. Have you decided whether you're going to vote for Obama or Romney? Yeah, I voted for, I'm going to vote for Obama. Why Obama? Just because I feel like he's doing the right thing so far. The people here in Reading aren't looking for a turnaround that takes four more years. They want relief right now. And after spending the day here, it's not hard to understand why. Obama, if you're listening, I need a lot of help. No one here in Reading is thrilled with the way things are going, and that's not surprising given that this is the poorest city in America. The question that they're going to have to answer now, which presidential candidate is most likely to turn things around? For Cafe Mom, I'm Lindsay Ferrier.